Here on 5 News, we've told you about different kinds of bullying that goes down in schools. That's right, but bullying doesn't just affect children. It can affect us adults as well. Aaron McPherson talked to a group of people today who shared their story. Aaron, what did these people tell you? I met three people today who are victims of adult bullying, or as they refer to it, organized stalking. Two of them are from Pennsylvania, but were in the area for their support group, which helps them get through their daily struggles of people constantly putting them down. We feel as though there is a great abuse going on, not only in our country, but across the world. This is a global problem. John and Terry are friends from Pennsylvania who have been living in fear for years. I was inundated with harassment. It just absolutely inundated with it. I would be told what I did that day, what I did the day before, where I went, what I had to eat, what I was wearing currently, where I was sitting in my apartment. Some of us that are single people that live alone are harassed in the community. The hacking of our electronic devices, computers, phones. These are just two of the many people in the world who are victims of stalkers and bullying. It's totally immature. It's like 10 year old on the school play yard bullying, but yet it's like on steroids with adults and it's, it goes so much further than that. People who suffer from this lose money from changing locks, fixing computers, or even moving. Just the slow takedown of a person's life over time. I had a respectable career and I was married and I had a home, I had cars, typical thing, set up and now I don't have a whole lot left in the world. Terry and John told us they have gone to the police with this information, but apparently they lack the evidence needed for a case. I actually took the computer and threw it in the dumpster, which is a terrible thing to do because the hard drive and everything was, was in there. And I had tons and tons and tons of things on there that probably would have been helpful. We are trying to gather evidence that we can that things are going on. So why do people do this and what can be done? It seems to me that they, they enjoy being a part of this. We need laws to be passed. We need laws to be upheld. We need ethics to come back into our lives. Luckily, Terry and John have found support groups that help them get through day-to-day -day life. It's important to have that connection with other people going through this. I can't describe what it would be like, what it has been like to talk to somebody who, who understands this. And then to find out that there's people all around the country that are going through this. And I've made so many friends now because of this. And it's been the difference between being able to keep going and not. Terry and John said hopefully by coming forward, people will be more aware of this problem. For 5 News, I'm Erin McPherson.